Good evening. Welcome to Ebony and Ivory. On tonight's program, we're going to be delving deep into the seedy underbelly of the African-American America. With me tonight is rap superstar The Horseman. Hello, sir. How are you? Oh, shit. Shit, indeed. Now, they tell me you're a rapper. What exactly does that entail? Well, rapping, high-quality street raps. Street. Now, uh, did you grow up in the streets? No, I grew up on a ranch, but there was a street like a mile away called Horse Road. That's where I got my name, The Horseman, from. So that's a street that makes me real street. Interesting. Uh, now, how long have you been black? Man, as far as I can remember, like 1984, my first Black History Month. So you're saying Black History Month made you want to be black? Yeah, that in Kwanzaa. Yet even more compelling reason to African American History Month and Kwanzaa. Oh, no, nah. can't hold us back. Mm -mm. Well, we have been for 400 years. It probably wouldn't be that hard to just keep doing it. Yeah. Might be sometime, but. Now, uh, are you professionally black? Oh, for sure, professionally. That's the only way you can be pro black. Ain't no bubblegum chewing going on. Exactly. Uh, now, you say you've been black since 1984. How many gangs have you been in since then? You know, like 28 gangs, they was all rivals. Every gang you were in was a rival to another gang? Yeah, you know, it was kind of hard. I had the same name in all of them, but, yep. That must have made it very difficult when it came time to rumble. Not really. I just shadow boxed, broke out a little sweat, you know. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, 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 interesting stuff. Now, uh, it's been said that some of your fans are pretty hardcore. Ah, uh, yeah, hardcore fans, you know. Uh, one fan in particular stands out, uh, Mr. Del Anglowood. Uh, um, uh, well, I don't, we don't really like to talk about him. We got restraining orders on that motherfucker and shit. Uh, yes, he's, uh, apparently, uh, been to every one of your concerts, uh, maintained several different websites solely about you, and on more than one occasion has tried to break into your home to sleep in your bed. Actually... He did successfully break into my house one time, and my bodyguard, Jeff Goldblum, who is also my lawyer, he kicked him out, and then that's when our lawsuit started and stuff. You know, tried to take the websites down, but that little motherfucker fast with them websites. Fast websites. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be interviewing Mr. Uh, Englewood later on. He ain't here now, is he? No. You're, you're I mean, you know, streets, hardcore. Well, uh, it's been uh, it's been an honor to have you here, Mr. Uh, the Horseman. Gangsta. Word. Ha <laughs> ha. We're here with Mr. The Horseman by one of his many cars. Uh, would you like to talk a little bit about this vehicle? Yeah, I don't really have too many cars because, you know what I'm saying, I ride horses and shit, but this car right here, it's in mint condition. You know what I'm saying, I just got these new rims on it. New candy paint job, you know, like Carmel paint, you know. What, uh, what kind of rims are these? Oh man, these are some 08 600. G6 is Giavelli's, you know, they Persian rims, you know, because that's all I do is I import it. This car was made in America and shipped overseas so I could import it. It's very decadent of you. Uh -huh. um, now, there's a no smoking sticker here. Uh, do you advocate smoking? I mean, I like to smoke. That's a, you know, that's a no smoking cigarette symbol. I don't say nothing else about street stuff, you know, like crack. That's what we do. You smoke a lot of crack? I don't, but the streets do. There's a lot of crack smoking out in the streets. I can't smoke crack because of my horses. The horses don't like the smell of crack smoke? Nah, they're trying to make them wild, you know. Eyes get all red. You know, my horse shit kicker. He actually kick shit, kick shit so that's why I call him shit kicker. You know, killed a child one time because somebody would smoke crack around him. He actually got a knife, put his hoof on it, stabbed the little kid. I was like, well, no more crack smoking around me. 
Now you were acquitted of all those charges, though. Correct? Yeah, they tried to blame me for it. You know, I was like, hey, I don't even own a knife. You know what I'm saying? I pay people. I call people with knives to come in and cut my food for me. Uh, now, how many drive-by shootings has this car participated in? Actually, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm so street, I drive off the street. Oh, uh, here come one right now. Duck! Oh, uh, my bad. That was close. That's probably one of them other gangs, you know. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, I sunk the Titanic in a drive-by shooting, you know, because my car is aquatic. It can float on the ocean, so you know, they said it was an iceberg, at least that's what I told them. But it was like a whole big 10 billion kilos of crack floating in the ocean. I was trying to get to, so I shot the hole in the boat. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. And you never did any jail time for sinking the Titanic, did you? Nah, you know what I'm saying? I can get away from the cops, you know. I hit a couple turns, like, skirt. And I was like, like skirt. And they can't fuck with your dog, you know? I wouldn't know, honestly. Uh, well, you know, I know, because white people, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever done jail time? No, nah, you know, I did a song called Jail Time. It was about my horse, Big Bear, because he big as a bear. He can get bear claws in his tail. Now, what did your horse do to end up in prison? Nah, uh, he was just black. Now, we're here at Mr. The Horseman's home. Uh, is there anything you'd like to tell us maybe about uh, this paneling? Oh, yeah. You know, this paneling, it's real, you know, this real street shit, you know, it's real raw and fancy. It's like imported from Bolivia. My horses, I got it for them, for my horses, because they love clacking their hooves on it. They just come in here and stand up and they just, I like it. Sometimes I, I even made a beat off of it one time and it called Horsing Around. Yep.